Revelation chapter 13 verse 9 If any man have an ear Let him hear He that leadeth into captivity Shall go into captivity He that killeth with the sword Must be killed with the sword Here is the patience and the faith of the saints First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone. The ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Our gods of people here for a bit. Captivity. Slavery. Live bygones, be bygones, right? Don't nobody need to be held accountable for putting the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans into captivity, slavery, right? Everybody else has to pay for that crime. When, when a Negro, Latino, and Native American Indian does the crime, guess what? You know he's gonna do the time, right? It's only for us though, right? But anybody else can get away with them say everything. Not according to the Bible though. Yahweh Bashim al said he would not at all acquit the wicked. You're not going to get away scot free, so come with your propaganda. It's almost over for you, man. That, that day is fastly approaching. That day is fastly approaching, man. All right? Why you see this place circling in the drain, man? Because the God of the Bible got a different kind of plan. You got plans of ruling for the next uh, uh, eternity, pretty much. Today, what you have about Shemel Shai got in store, Revelation chapter 13, verse 9. That's what the scriptures say. What? If any man have an ear, let him hear. If you can receive and comprehend what the scriptures are saying, take heed. And, and a whole lot of people think these scriptures are far fetched, but, but you'll see soon come. You'll see. He that leadeth in the captivity, slavery. Captivity is slavery, all right? Remember slave ships? Remember filthy, rat-infested, cargo slave ships packed in like sardines, remember? Remember the majority of the Israelites didn't even make it over here, they got thrown overboard, fed the sharks, and whatever else was in the sea? But millions on top of millions, we, can't even, we don't even know the, the amount or the real number of Israelites that came over here on the cargo slave ship and got scattered throughout the four corners of the earth on cargo slave ships. Captivity, right? He that leadeth in the captivity shall go into captivity. They know I, I, I think about it. They might go. No. You keep forgetting the God of the Bible requires that which is past, man. You do something to these other niggas, they're going to hunt you down. They don't care if it was 10 years ago. They don't care if it was 15. They don't care if it was 100 years ago. They're going to keep searching until they find you and until you pay for that crime. They're not going to let bygones be bygones. They're not going to forget. You know? They're going to be on a manhunt looking for you, man, until they get you. You know? Until they get you, man. He that kill it with the sword, with somebody they sword the gun. And we got killed with actual swords, right? Stabbed up, gutted up. Sword represents any killing instrument. Destruction. He that kill it with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and faith of the saints. Here is the patience and faith of the saints. And who are the saints? The Israelites. And the hopeful look is just sitting back, man. I want, I want to get that too. I, I mentioned it. Let's get it. Ecclesiastes. Let's just go ahead and get it. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 15. That which have been is now, and that which is to be have already been. And the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh, Shai, who they call God and Jesus Christ, require that which is past. So Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is on a man hunt for you. You know? You got a billboard with your faces put up spiritually. This person is wanted for this, that, and the third. 
you know, just like when you're looking for somebody, you have a wanted poster, and you put that individual's picture up there, well, your picture, Sleazy E, your picture is on there. And you other nations, but mainly Sleazy E, man. The, the God of the Bible said he required that, which is past. Ain't nobody getting away with nothing. And the water you have, by Shem Yahushua, that that is written. You know, the, the Lord said it takes faith to believe in a scripture like that. It takes faith. Let's get this Habakkuk. Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 3. For the vision, meaning the prophecies. It seems like it's taking a long time for these different nations to go ahead first into captivity, aka slavery, right? For the vision is yet for an appointed time. Just like you got winter, spring, summer, fall, they all come around in their perspective order. Just like these nations going into captivity, it's coming. Don't worry about it. Look, we, then we go into captivity. We didn't think it was going to happen. The Lord told us everything that was going to happen to us before it even happened. Look, he had a prophet prophesy it unto us, you know? He had a prophet of the Lord tell us he prophesied that these things were going to happen before it even happened. And did it happen? It took some time, it took some years, but they eventually didn't happen. Ain't nothing different, man. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end, it shall speak. And these prophecies shall speak a lot of clay. That's why that's how we know we're at the end of this rulership. And then right after that, these heathens going ahead first in the captivity. We know it according to the Bible, according to faith. It's thus said the Lord, thus said the Bible or everything. But at the end it shall speak and not lie. Just like it didn't, just like it was speaking when we went on those cargo slave ships and got carted off from one corner of the earth to the other. It was speaking, right? It didn't lie, right? Though it tarry, wait for it. Now it's time for these heathens to go into captivity. Though it tarry, though it seemed like it's taking a long time, wait for it. Because it will surely, it will truly come. It will not tarry. Meaning, it's gonna, when, it, when it do come, it's a wrap. It seemed like it's taking all day to come, but look though, but when it do come though, that's the thing about it, Israel. When it finally do come, it's gonna be a wrap, Micah chapter 5, verse 15. And I will execute vengeance. This is the Heavenly Father speaking, who you're gonna call God, right? And I will execute vengeance and anger and fury upon the heels for touching the apple of his eye, which represents us Israelites, right? So we finally came to the conclusion of who we are, man. We are the biblical Hebrew Israelites. Ain't that something? The whole time it was us. Everything that we were reading about in church, Bible school, Bible study, what have you. Among friends, all those stories that we was reading about getting led out of Egypt, so forth and so on. Look, it was about us, man. Ain't that something? It was us the whole time. What did the Lord say? And I will execute vengeance and anger and fury upon the heathens, these different nations, man, that ain't nothing happened to yet, right? Such as they have not heard. Why? Because he required the things what happened in the past. You know? The Lord required that what happened in the past, man. That's why you heathens, man, y'all better enjoy life right about them. Every last one of you, y'all better all enjoy them oil, them oil um, refineries. You know what I'm saying? And them luxury hotels and what, whatever you got, man. Whatever you got, you better rejoice over it, man. Have fun, man. All the beautiful women, the nice vacations, the beach homes, you know. The six-story mansions, seven-story mansions. Look, man. Enjoy, man. The fine dining, Exodus chapter 21. Because your next stop is slavery. Exodus chapter 21. Verse 16, and he that still for man, it's evident that we were stolen. Yeah. Got pictures of it and everything. Leading us in the cargo slave ships, right? Leading us head first in the captivity, right? The whole city, your whole system is set up to keep us down. You, you better enjoy it, man. All right? You, you enjoy living in the best neighborhoods, right? Driving the most expensive cars. And once again, the finer suits and watches and all that. Enjoy all that. Enjoy Enjoy it. He that stilleth a man and selleth him, and it's evidence you you took pictures of it. You got documents of it of us being sold, us being stolen, us being sold on auction blocks. All right. You you got pictures of it, man. Right. 
or if he be found in his hand. And when Lord Yahweh shot, who they even call Jesus, come back on the scene, well, look, we're still going to be in captivity. Ain't nobody going to set us free. They're going to be pretty much, but when the Lord comes, they're going to be pretty much trying to eradicate us from off the face of the earth by the time the Lord comes. That's why the Lord said he got to shorten the days. He got to come speedily. When ain't no flesh going to be saved because the devil know he's about to get taken out of rulership. And once he go, these other nations that believe in him, they take on his nonsense, his philosophies, his doctrines going down with him. Or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. And that's what's coming. Nobody can't stop it. We just, we just read the vision. It's for an appointed time. Look, nobody can stop what I just read. No one. All right? No one can stop what I just read according to the Bible. You're going to find out the hard way that the scriptures was faithful and true. Isaiah 55 and 11. And it reads, so shall my word be. The words of the Bible. The Heavenly Father's words, right? So shall my words be. They go forth out of my mouth. Who's the mouthpiece of the Heavenly Father and the Son? The prophets. It shall not return unto me void. But it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing whereto I send it. Meaning these words going to come to pass. Everything will be fulfilled. Everything that I'm reading is going to be fulfilled, man. Everything. Let's get another precept. Let's get numbers. Numbers chapter 23. Verse 19, Yahweh is not a man that he shall lie, neither the son of man. Remember, he's not a man that he shall lie, or the son of man, Lord Yahweh Shai. The heavenly father or his son, they don't lie, right? It says, um, neither the son of man that he shall repent. Have he said, how did the God of the Bible speak through servants, through his prophets? Have he said, and shall he not do it? Or uh, hath he spoken? And shall he not make it good? So everything that I read. Re remember, it's going to come to pass. You heathens. I hope you heathens lived it up, man. You heathens better have lived it up, man. You read what you saw going to Galatians. You heathens. I hope y'all lived it up, man. Colossians chapter 3 verse 25. Especially the elite banking families. The Rothschilds, the Gettys, the Bloombergs. I hope we hope y'all lived it up, man. You better live it up, man. You better eat all the fresh fruit. You better drink all the fresh water. You, man, you better go wherever you need to go. Take them long trips, which you ain't really got that long. That time taking that um, sand in the hourglass is leaking out. It's just starting to leak out. Colossians chapter 3, verse 25. But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he have done. And there is no respect of persons. Meaning what? It ain't no bygones. Be bygones. That, that, get that out of your head. Get it out of your head. No, no. That, that's one of them philosophies and lies that you promoted. You know. You just ride, you just do all kind of crime and you just ride off in the sunset unscathed. Nah, man. Without a scratch, without a bump, without a no. Second Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 6, sin. It is a righteous thing with the most high with God. The most high Yahweh. To recompense, the word recompense means payback tribulations to them that trouble you so the same people to put hell on us Lord said I'm gonna put hell on them and it is what it is it is what it is the, the people that put hell on us the Lord said look you know I'm, I'm getting ready to come back I'm gonna put double hell on them they're gonna scream they're gonna cry bitterly you know what I'm saying for someone to take that pain away but it's not gonna happen so rock chapter 25 in the Apocrypha Ecclesiasticus chapter 25 Verse 7, there be nine things which I have judged in mine heart to be happy. And the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that have joy of his children. And he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. And we pray that we live through it, man. We pray that we see Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai come through and put heavy chains on these heathens, man. We want to see the downfall of our enemy. Don't our enemy want to see the, our downfall? Ain't want, want our enemy glad and rejoice at our downfall? So we're going to rejoice in that day. Lord, when are we up that number to see the downfall of our enemy? We, we love to see this place crumbling. And yet we in the midst of it. We dead in the middle of it. We're going to lose some things. But we're fine with that. As long as this place go down. As long as our enemy go down. 
He's going down. Shalom.